Hi, Miss Jane. Welcome. Whoa, this is so cool. Hello. Thank you for downloading Koala. My name is Miss Jane, and I use Koala to teach online. Koala is for all teachers, wherever you are, whatever you teach. In this short video tutorial, I will be showing you how to get started with Koala to engage your online students for free. Please feel free to hit pause anytime during the tutorial to practice the skills you'll learn. Once I've opened the Koala app, this first field will have your permanent classroom address. My address is 88 Jaybird Street, but yours will be different. You can invite up to five students by moving this slider. To get familiar with your Koala room, feel free to start a room without students. Make sure you check that both your camera and your audio are set without a line when you are expecting a student. You may be prompted to give permission for Koala to access your computer, camera, and audio. Notice, right next to the camera and audio icons, there is a home icon. When I click here, I can see my room address, the camera I am using. If I have a document camera connected, it will be listed as a choice here. The number of seats I have, this means how many students I expect to be teaching for this session, and the listed users. If a student were here with me, their name would be here as well. Now the fun part. Let's move around. Here's how to move. On your keyboard, using the up, down, right, and left arrows, you can easily move about your classroom. Using the right arrow, I turn to the right. Using the left arrow, I turn to the left. The up arrow allows me to move forward. The down arrow moves me backward. Check this out. I can even look up and down using my mouse. I use right click and I slide my mouse forward to look up. Keeping my finger on the right click, I slide the mouse toward me to look down. I can also look side to side and up and down, keeping my finger on the right click and moving the mouse forward and backward side to side. If you need a quick reminder, click on the gear and then click the question mark. There's a quick guide for movement. Let's look at the tools available to you and the student. A great place to start is by customizing your avatar. Click on this gear icon in the lower right corner. For now, just click on the icon with a person. Here is my avatar. I can change my appearance using these three categories. For my body, I can change my skin color, my hair, my eyes, eyebrows, and even facial hair. Click back to change my outfit, including bottoms, tops, belts, and ties. Click back to change my accessories, including backpacks, eyewear, earrings, and hats. Click back and then exit using the red door. Notice you cannot see your avatar, but your student will be able to see it. Not only will they see your avatar, but with your camera and audio enabled, they will also see you. Now let's look at the panel of tools at the bottom of our screen. The first tool is the marking tool. I can use either a pen or a highlighter. I will use a pen. I can adjust the thickness of the line and the color I want to use. Then I can write or highlight on a whiteboard. If I want to erase something I've drawn, I simply click on the eraser tool and erase it. This middle tool is the cursor. I click the cursor as a default as I move about the classroom. You'll need the cursor when you use the browser, so make sure you have this selected. The text tool is for creating two kinds of text boxes, sticky notes or plain text boxes. To create a sticky note, click here. I can move the sticky note anywhere I want to. I can make the sticky note larger by using the plus key on my keyboard or make it smaller by using the minus key. 
To edit the sticky note, I click on it and then press enter or return on my keyboard. I can type whatever I want and I can format the text color or style. Going to the text tool again, if I click on the text tool sticky note, it changes to a text box. Just like the sticky note, I can place the text box anywhere. I can edit the text box by clicking it in place, then clicking and hitting enter or return. The last tool in this panel is the duplicating tool. Select this tool, then click an item such as a sticky note. Ta-da! I've duplicated the sticky note. When I am done editing it, I click escape or click off the sticky note. Just like a real live classroom, you'll want to decorate your classroom. You can upload pictures by clicking on this plus icon in the lower left corner. Once selected, you can choose to add clip art from the Koala Library by clicking the puppy icon. I can place this item anywhere and change the size by clicking the plus or minus key on my keyboard. Just above the puppy icon, is the button I can use to upload an image from my computer. Of course, it's my classroom, so I may place this image wherever I want it and change the size using the plus and minus keys on my keyboard. I enjoy preparing my Koala classroom, but I also know my students enjoy being able to customize the classroom as well. It makes the space their own. Don't worry about your students not wanting to share space to decorate. I'll show you how to save a classroom for every student you work with. Let's head over to the browser. It is great your student can roam about the class, but when you need the student to be centered and focused on a teaching board, simply click the X in the upper right corner. You'll find this X on the whiteboards in your classroom as well. It makes the teaching board full screen and the student cannot move. Using the browser, you can access any of the websites you rely on to assist with your teaching. Simply click in the address field and type your destination. In addition to web addresses, you can click on this button and upload a document to use with the student. Your pen and text tools will work on the browser window too. You'll notice my name in the upper right corner of the browser. This indicates I am able to click on the browser. When a student joins, their name will also be listed, and that is how I share control of the browser. To release yourself and the student from full screen on the browser or any whiteboard, simply click on the X in the upper right corner to freely move in the classroom. Now that we've set up a basic classroom, I like to save it as a template before I customize it for a particular student. Going back down to the gear icon in the lower right, notice I can manage classes or click save class. For now, I am just going to save this class. I click save as new class. Since I like to create a basic template to build from, I'll name this class Ms. Jane's template. Click the check mark and it's saved. To find this class again, I simply click on the gear icon and this time I click Manage Classes. Here is my template. Now I'm going to open it and edit it for a specific student. A message prompts, discard current class progress. I can click Proceed because I haven't changed anything. Now I want to add things for a specific student. Now I will save this class as a new class by going back to the gears in the lower right corner. I will click save class. I will name this class using my student's initials so I know it is designed with that student in mind. I could also name this classroom based on the subject matter I have set it up for, such as math or spelling. Notice the template I first created is still there and this will not replace that template but we'll add this edited classroom. You can create, save, and import classrooms from other Koala users as well. No limits here. When you're ready to invite your online student, 
click on this door icon in the upper right corner. This will save the current class and exit the room. Now we are back in the opening window. I will make sure the number of students I am expecting for the session is one. Then click invite. I have the option of copying the link here and pasting it into an email to my student. Or I can simply type their email directly into this empty field. An invite will be sent to them with simple instructions on how to join. Note, your student can only join the classroom when you are in it, and they must click Join Room. Click on Start Room. Don't forget to make sure your camera and audio do not have a line through them so you can be seen and heard. I will click on Manage Classes and select my student's classroom and it will load. When your student enters the room, you'll hear a notification sound and you'll see them. Hi, Miss Jane. Welcome. Whoa, this is so cool. Once a student has joined the room, I can go back up to the home icon. Next to my student's name, I click on settings to decide what she can or cannot control, including movement, avatar, uploading, drawing, erasing, using the cursor, creating text, or using the duplicating tool. Now it's time to take teaching to a whole new level. Enjoy your koala class. If you need additional help or practice, please contact Jian at J-I-A-N at EinsteinStudios.com i o for a free consultation they'll be happy to help you with a private lesson